Hey, look at all these familiar fit faces showing up. How y'all doing? How's everybody doing? Y'all doing okay? I certainly hope so. Let me get this a little bigger so my old man eyes can read it. Alright. Thanks for making it, everybody. Really happy to have y'all here. Let me see if I can give some shout-outs. We started a little early just because I got everything ready early, and I figured, eh, why wait? If we're already good to go, why wait, huh? Shout-out to Zy Anderson. Shout-out to T. Hello to Yikes. It's op Opal. Ledya Mooch. Moosh. Brooklyn Eliza. Haraya. Sarah Rose. Lemons and Limes. Jada Kai. Artist Mystery. The Gotcha Weeb. Christina Garcia, Doha, Liz Thatcher, Jenna Chu, Ava Akers, Strongheart, Izzy Bailey, CNV Camacho, Zai Anderson, Ashanti V, Mean Tastic Kid, Alyssa Caitlin, Re, thank you for being here. Miss Benzedrine, hello, Adriana Rodriguez, hello. Hey, Rox is here. Hello, Rox. Jazith Galliano. Hello. Maria Cecilia. Hello. Abby, how you doing? Glad to see all these green team names, as always. Always a pleasure. Now, if I recall correctly, we last left off with, uh... Last time we were streaming, uh, we had ourselves a bit of an adventure. A bit of a malady. Uh, a, a bit of a... a, a not-too-great thing happened. And we needed to fix it. But it's fixed now. And to ensure it remains even... It, it, it remains fixed and no longer becomes a problem. We are going to acquire a certain set of armor. We need to get us some armor for our freaking horse so it'll stop dying all the time. How are we going to do that, you ask? Why? We're going to go here to Melania Spring. And apparently behind the spring is a hidden chest... Wherein we can find some armor that'll hopefully keep our horse nice and safe. So we'll be right back. Then who knows, maybe we can actually get back to the actual main quest. You know, the thing that we're actually doing here? The whole DLC thing? <laughs> you think? You think we can actually get back to it? Nah. Why do that? Why do that? And we can just blow up the horse a couple more times. <laughs> How y'all doing? How's your Friday night? Thank you very much for deciding to share your Friday night with me. You could be doing a whole lot of anything else. Oh, you know what I want to know? What I would like to know is, what did you all think of the man on the mountain? If you haven't had a chance to listen to today's audio yet, I suggest you give it a shot because I really liked it. Don't get me wrong, I always like the scripts that I do. I do my best to avoid doing scripts I don't like. What is this? What? What is? What am I supposed to do with that? Am I supposed to go th fly through that? Um, it's so far away. Am I just supposed to get there? Oh no. <coughs> oh no, I'm running out of time. That's no good. People make it there on time? Anyway, what are they talking about? Um Man on the Mountain. Let me know what you thought what you thought about it, because I really, really like that script and I I'm hoping it becomes a fan favorite. It's very different from the stuff I normally do, I know. But I kinda like it in that it's very different. It is part one of five. Oh my god, oh my god. Climb the mountain! What even is at the top of this, I wonder? What happens when I reach the top of the mountain? Now what? Oh, it's one of these ding-dongs. Well, ha ha! Alright. I think I can, every 20 or so, I can do something with those seeds. 
All right, so much for staying on target. Yes, Man on the Mountain. I hope you liked it. You, there's a uh, there's much more where that came from. I hope you like every installment. Oh, can y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all can hear that. It's a little kickflip. It's a little itty bitty kickflip. The green team should know. Aw, uh -huh, she thinks the door the door's not closed, kickflip. Just come on in. Dingle. If you can now and you can hear me, then that means the door is not closed. Hello. Rude. Ow. Give me a bananas. Alright, what are we doing? We're heading over here. Come inside. Alright, hold on. I gotta let this cat in. Be right back. hearing that meowing the whole time. Oh, yes, you're inside the room. Yes, you are. What's that? Give you all my attention. But I'm streaming for the people. Anyways, uh, I keep getting distracted. Uh, yes. I heard your calls, oh mighty green team, and you should know that the next emote you unlock shall be none other than a kickflip emote. Now, won't that be nice? Okay. Short pause to pet the cat. Oh, who's a kitty kitty? Is it you? She does this thing where when I'm petting her, she sticks her butt up and it's like, pet this part specifically. I mean, I don't know if it's scratchy or what, but it's, it's awkward every single time. I'm itching it, I'm itching it. You like that? Okay, that's enough. Zelda waits. How do I turn off this now that I no longer need carrots? Turn. No, do not target with sensor. Turn off. How do I no longer... Mm, I don't want to do that either. Do not target anything with sensor. How about that? This one. Hmm. 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 How to turn off sensor targeting in general? That's not it. I just gotta turn something else on targeting, maybe? Horse. Sure, let's, let's target that with sensor. Look for dogs. Okay, so that's the bridge you wanna cross. Let's get going. Yes, lucky you, green team. Soon enough, you, once the art is done, I'm starting the commission now, by the same amazing artist who's done all of the new emoji art, uh, we will have a kickflip emoji. Because it has been highly recommended. And I listen and I respond. Whenever possible. So we were just here last time, and apparently right behind here is a hidden chest that one can use, that when used and opened, 
has a here it is. set of armor for the horse. So Brandon gets a glow up and will hopefully be able to survive a couple more lasers. Call them even when they are far away. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's get back to where we were, which was all oh, yeah. Was it over here? No, it was over here. Cardi, why must you stream when I need sleep or am attempting to write? I am most, almost finished writing. Why must you say that every single time? Is my counter to that? Haha. If y'all need to go do other stuff, feel free to go do other stuff. This will be up whenever. You can watch it whenever. It is very, very, very not time sensitive, I assure you. Let us take the horse, lovely Brandon. Oh. Crystal Rose says, Hello, I'm new here. I really like the oh. videos that I've seen from you. Why, thank you, Crystal Rose. Oh. How very, very sweet of you to say. What just happened? Oh, weird. The screen just got all wonky for a second. Brandon, time to give you some armor to go with your wacky new unicorn helmet. I'm not the biggest fan of the design, but you know, whatever. I'm sh I hear it's all the rage and Hylia, so. Wait, where is the. Who is the. I will fix your horses person? Is it this guy? Yeah. No, not you. only certain maybe it's only certain stables where you can do that Dang it. okay well beetle how you doing let's head over to this stable and see if they have one here so that's take a right and take a left let's go do that come along Brandon come along Just to be happy. Ava Aker says, Carl, an important question. Who's been your favorite person to collaborate with in stream or just regular audio? Well, I can't say that. It's going to make everybody else who I stream with seem unimportant or less amazing. I can say that I've yet to stream or collaborate with anyone that I do not enjoy holding. What the hell? You there! Stop that! Is that lady gonna be okay? You gonna be okay? Hello. I'm being told that a fitting answer is Sprout. And I collaborated with Sprout with the merch post. Why did I think it was a good idea to take this road? Well, you're safe now. Live your life. So it's right, then take a left, right? He was in an audio! Of course I remembered that. Why, why wouldn't I remember that? Sprout was in an audio. And we thank him for it. Huh. 
My sincerest apologies to Sprout. I realized the other day that I have over 900 videos. So, as somebody who's already prone to having very bad memory, you'll forgive me, I hope, if I do not remember every single video I've uploaded. Can you do a collab with Yuri voice? You mean another collab with Yuri voice? Funny you should mention that. We're actually playing some D&D &D this Sunday as practice for an upcoming podcast. It'll be a group podcast with a bunch of other ASM artists. And, uh, yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be taking place here on this channel between me and a couple of other ASM artists. And, uh, we've been testing it out. We've got about three or so sessions so far of testing done and so far it's going really well Ooh, there's a doggy nearby what is this people getting harassed leave them alone stop thank you Close that doggy. Star Princess says, I remember you did an autism video. Do you think you'll ever do more mental illness audios? Sorry if that's rude. Uh, it's not rude. And if I have the scripts for him, I'll be happy to. I just have a... Stable area where I can change the clothes. -y. No, it does not. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Ooh. We're just gonna teleport around until we find one. So we're gonna put the horse in the thing. Very good. Horse in thing. Crystal Rose says, Carlin, can you sing a small bit of any song, please, with a W in, case, in place of the L? The answer to that is no. Have a wonderful Friday evening, though. <laughs> Let's see. We need to find this a stable with a thing. Where did we find it last time? Hmm. I wonder if this one does. I bet this one does. Let's try this one. Hey, Fonzo's in here. What's up, buddy? Does this, in fact, have the stable type area I'm looking for? At least the stable tender? Let's see. I think... Yes. So this is where we put the other one on. Sweet. Yeah. Fonzo says, hey, bro, bro. Hopefully I didn't catch you at a bad time. Nah, not at all. By all means. Hey. Come hang out. All right. Brandon, if you will, kindly join me over here, buddy. You good? Can you see in that thing? All right. Yes, please. Let's change the Sedel. Ah, stylish. Okay, a little more on theme. Brandon got quite the glow up. 
Brandon's a lot more hardcore than I am. Let's see, maybe they have some fitting gear. So that's all ancient stuff. So if I put on ancient stuff, will that match? Hey, Brando, not bad. Not a bad look. Does anybody know how to turn off searching for objectives with the compendium? Because I just wanted to not do that no more. Maybe. Okay, how about this? Cancel. Bull. Dang, is it impossible to not search for something? You just always have to be searching for something? Butts. That's super butts. Sure. This is probably pretty obscure. Obscure enough that we won't get too much of it. Alright. So we've got ourselves. Oh, I'm being told if you go to the map. Oh, that's not the map. Map. Hit Y. Shika sensor. Aha! Off. Ah, rocks, you're the best. Thank you kindly, rocks. Okay, now we need to get all the way up to this here red spot. We're gonna do a little bit of an ASMR trip through the countryside to get there. Flashing our new fancy styles. Process. Let's take off the shield. Ah, the bow can stay. Unequip this hammer. Nice. Look at that. Matching. Aren't we looking flash? Look at these demon dogs trying to pick a fight. We got places to be. Hello, goat. Hey, thanks. Hey, we got ourselves. <laughs> 125 pesos from Mika Cheese, says Brandon the Beautiful Horse. Oh, I missed that song. Huh. Link looks like the Hierophant card, says Jazif. I believe that is a Yu Gi Oh reference. Is that right? thing about this is that you can literally just set it going and he'll just follow the road on the map as is so I can just occasionally tap a to give him a good old yaw a yawing a to yaw press a to yaw let's get some a's in the chat to you really yaw it up and then I can focus on chat and see how y'all are doing any questions anything on your mind any shout outs maybe hey crystal rose I sang a little bit of a song for you there you go that counts Thatcher says, I need to go because you always stream and I need to sh shower and sleep. But I love you and I hope you're doing well. Hey, same to you. Right, last time we came here, there was... What was there? There was a treasure chest I didn't get. Carlin, I'm ordering pizzas. Any ideas? Yeah, give me a slice. That's my idea. Silver scale spear. Cool. I hate it. Up. Get on the 
horse. Get out of here. Hey, thanks. Keiko Taraichi with a two dollar super chat saying, Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Give it a lick. Ooh, it tastes just like raisins. Thank you very much for the super chat. That's old school memes. I haven't heard that meme in a while. Look at that dragon. Look at that big old drago. If you shoot his horn, a little meteorite thing will drop off, and then you can use that to make some kind of... I don't know. I use it in some kind of cooking recipe to make, like, the best foods or something. I forget. Aff yeah. Aff ya. Yeah. Says, isn't there a mask in the game that prevents enemies from attacking you? Yeah, probably. That sounds like a thing. I think if you look like a bad guy, the bad guys will stop attacking you. Yeah. Look at my yeah. horse. My horse is amazing. How's your Friday going so far, Cardlin? Asked Mikachi. Not too bad. Going pretty well. Just chilling. Played a lot of WoW. Uploaded a video earlier. Just preparing, getting stuff done. Paradox of a paradox. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Why or why not? Uh, I don't know. I think a hot dog is a hot dog. And a sandwich is a sandwich. And uh, as for categorizing them and figuring out what category they fall into, I, I don't think it's really important. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it doesn't matter, right? Is the cookie a cake? You know, like, all those questions, like... <laughs> it's like, well... I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know that it matters, you know? I'm glad we're in a point in our lives or a society where we can worry about things like that. We must have it really good if we can worry about things like whether or not cookies or cakes and hot dogs or sandwiches. Sun He Park says, Cardinal, what's the best thing that happened to you today? Also, milk or cereal first? Probably cereal first. And, uh... Best thing that happened to me today... Hmm. What is the best thing that happened to me today? Oh, the kitty kids. Um, gotta spend some time with the misses. Gotta upload Man on the Moon, a oh, Man on the Mountain, which I've been really looking forward to. Man on the Moon. Um, had a delicious lunch. I don't know. It's been a good day in general. How many hours do you think you have invested in Breath of the Wild? Isn't there a way to see that? Um, no there is not. I don't know. Definitely a lot. I've been playing this for a long, long, long time. Does pineapple go on a pizza? Yeah, if you put it there. Cardin, what other platforms do you post on? Um, right now it's just YouTube. I do occasionally post on uh, other sites that I will not mention because YouTube is very, you know, keeping it PG-13. Cupid asking, have you ever played Persona 5? If not, do you plan on it? Really great game. It, you know, I hear a lot of good things about it. It just seems like such a huge undertaking. Like hearing how long it takes to play and beat just is kind of daunting. I don't know that I want to invest that much time in it on my personal time, and I don't know that I want to start streaming a game that's going to take, you know, over 150 hours to beat. Just given that every stream is about two hours, that means that it'll take me some crazy amount of time to get it all done, you know? 75 episodes? That's, uh, that's a lot of episodes. 75 two-hour long episodes. So yeah, it's a game that I hear is great. A lot of people tell me it's great. I wanted to play it, and I still want to play it because of how stylistically beautiful it is. But uh, I don't know. I just don't know that it's... I just don't know that I have the time for such 
a huge investment. Shadow Animation says, Carl, I know you would notice me, but I made you fan art on Instagram. My account was Pocky Senpai Arts. Cool. Thank you. Ava Aker says, Weird question, but if you were in jail, who would you want to arrest you? What? If anyone could, and why? I, what? Meg <laughs> Megan Rose says, So I just listened to the Man in the Mountain audio. Wow, I'm really excited for the next four parts. It sounds like it's going to be pretty fun, and I'm ready for it. Nice. Me too, Megan Rose. I'm ready for it as well. Crystal Rose says, If clouds could taste like something, what would they taste like? Would they taste different based on what? They probably not. They probably taste like water. You know. Probably tastes like yeah, a little bit like faintly a little bit of water. Carlin, have you got the full Xenoblade Chronicles 2 outfit yet in Breath of the Wild? No, definitely not. I didn't even know that was the thing. Cal trying to call me out. Carlin says he doesn't have time for Persona. Also, Carlin plays WoW. Well, it's different, you know? WoW is like the kind of game you can kind of just casually grind. Whenever you have free time, it's a game that you can play in the background while you're doing something else. Kind of like a mindless churn. As opposed to a game like Persona 5, where there's a pressing story and like a narrative and all these things you gotta pay attention to. It takes up one whole, you know, just it's... It's different things. Completely different things. Apples and oranges. Caitlin Richardson says, Carlin, are you still needing scripts? If so, what kind and how to send some in? You can always send in scripts to carlinscripts at gmail.com. Uh, as for how to write scripts, there is a video I put out along with Rihanna here, wherein we have some tips and some examples of scripts, which I'm sure will be of huge help. And uh, as for what kind... Uh, really, I can. I'm always looking for all kinds of scripts. Um, t for more specific guidance as to what kind, I think we're good on Halloween scripts. Yeah. Maybe not, though. I'm not sure. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Rihanna posted a link to the video, I believe, that you can check out. That'll help you learn how to catch a script. We're all good on Halloween scripts, though, by the looks of things. So, you know, uh, the usual categories are cute and funny, uh, comfort slash therapeutic, romantic slash dramatic, 18 plus, of course, if you want to write that kind of stuff, and you yourself are 18 and over. Um, and what else do we got? Sci-fi, fantasy, yandere, other. Write what you want to hear. Write what moves you. Write what you think would be fun. about at our destination. Once we get there, we can have Brandon chill, and then we can start making our ascent into the mountains. There you go, we just got the categories. For those of you who don't know, Re here is not just a mod, but is also my script editor. So whenever you send in a script, they go through Reef first before they get to me. And while, of course, I, I highly... Um, I highly recommend you write scripts and motivate you to write scripts. I want you to feel inspired. 
just know that you know not every script makes it through. As a matter of fact, I'd say one in every three, th only only one in every three scripts make it through. So if yours happens to not make it through, don't worry. Try and try again. You can also check out a place called ASMR Script Haven on Reddit. And that's a good community for people who write scripts, request scripts, use scripts, record scripts. Good place for anybody starting out and trying to join the script writing and script partaking of community. Yeah. Howdy, Kish. Do me a favor and take my horse. Oh, nope. Uh, board my horse is what I want. Bye, Brando. Sunhee Park says, Carlin, since I'm a bit new, why and how did you get in voice acting? I love what you do, and it helped me a lot, and I fall asleep to them, but sadly, since school started, I can't really use my phone. Uh, why and how did you get in voice acting? Well, hmm. first off, I don't really consider what I do voice acting. It's kind of different. But, as for how I got into what I do now, it's, um... I basically found a community on Reddit that does these audios, and I tried it out for myself, and I found out that I really liked it, and it kind of worked out for me. So, I decided to give it a try, people seemed to really respond to it, decided I'd try it out for myself, and uh, the rest is history, I guess. Break the spear, these boxes. More arrows, please. Fox Maiden says, Hey Carla, what's your favorite pastime when you're not doing YouTube? Uh, probably this. Playing video games. I right, need to get head towards that glowing yellow circle on my map. You should be able to see it in the bottom right of the game. Sunny Park asks a very important question. And since I'll have to change clothes soon, I figure I might as well free the knees while I can. Let's get some classic Link here going on. Ooh, look at those sexy knees. Let's get, let's get, let's get some air on those knees. All right. Oof. Gotta free them knees. Run them through the grass. Get them nice and nice and aerated. What's that? Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey! Where'd you go? Is it this? He had a fish in him? Alright. Sure. task laid before us, just climbing into these wacky-ass mountains, but, you know, for Zelda. Moon is playing Roblox while watching. That's cool. Do your thing. I think it's gonna be about 
time to start putting on my climbing gear. That noise, by the way, that lovely sound you just heard, is the sound of a new subscriber. Hooray! I got no beef with you. Yeah, live your life. Let's get up here. to go. How far away are we? Ugh, so far. Alright. Zora the 13th asks, Hey Cardi, what's your favorite Zelda title? I think it's this. I don't think I would be amiss saying that this is my favorite Zelda title. Sun He Park says, I just looked at the older game, Legend of Zelda, from back in 2002, and I remembered your streams, and wow, as time passed, and the graphics are really rocketed. Yeah, no kidding. Though I think the first Legend of Zelda that came out was like 1985 or so, 1986. Julia K says, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Teleportation, I think. So I could... Get my baby over here. Ooh. I don't want to start digging into these yellow circles. I need to catch my breath. Here we go. Very nice. Wind Waker is a good one. I do remember Wind Waker quite fondly. Cupid says, will you, will you be playing the new Animal Crossing when it comes out? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. You know, I tried... Um, what's the game I tried? I tried Stardew Valley. And it's kind of a similar game, right? And I, I realized it's just not really for me. Like, those kind of games without, like, a real narrative or set goal. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I need to be led around by the nose. I, pref I like games that are that have, you know, that maybe have like a sandbox backdrop like this but otherwise, like, there's always something to do so I do plan on playing Animal Crossing I just don't know how how long I'll stick with it just because I've played similar games and they never, they never really engaged me Where are we going? Where are we going? Straight. That away. That away. That away. That away. Okay. Let's get going. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. What does that mean? My temperature gauge is like max F. What does that mean? Hey, it's your boy Cass. Fox Maiden asks, well, have you played the World of Light story mode? I know that could be a hit or miss for Smash Brothers fans. Oh, nah. Nah, I'm good. Little Vamp says, do you remember the first game you ever played? I think it was Super Mario Brothers. The very first one. Cupid says, also I'm asking this again because it's a burning question of mine, but do you ever plan on doing the Undertale No Mercy run? Why is 
whether or not a random YouTuber will do a specific type of run of a specific game, a burning question for you, is my counter question. But also, uh, no, I, I beat Undertale, I got everything I wanted out of it, and I think we're good. I loved the experience, I loved the game, it was extremely moving, and I still think back on it, and the, the stories, the music especially, mm -hmm. so fondly, and, um... I think we're. I think I'm good at what what I've accomplished. I believe Cass has a Filipino accent, so let's give this a shot. This stone monument has survived for ten thousand years. What the secrets does it hold? Oh. What's this? A traveler in the land of flames? Are you truly able to withstand the heat? I know it's not my business, but I'm rather concerned. Mm. It must be that you applied an ample amount of fireproof elixir just as I did. Is that so? Nope. Oh. How about that? You must have a natural ability to withstand intense heat just like the Gorons. As for me, I, f I don't use a fireproof elixir. I go from a bard to a baked bird. Well, never mind my musings. <laughs> this accent's so good. I love doing it. Look, as expected, there's one here too. One of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Oh. <sighs> I wonder if my teacher ever contemplated this very song at this very spot. The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse about the trials. Allow me to sing it for you. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Okay, here we go. Crawling flame on a mighty peak. Rudania's champion, never weak. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monument show. Alright. One stop of a titan of molten stone. To follow rings of light alone. Three survive love, aspire, fate. Champion trials await. What did you say about me? What did you say? What did you do without me? What did you do? Did you play games without me? What did you play? Did you think that I wasn't going to find out about you? Ah, I love that so much. I had Steven Universe movie stuck in my head the last couple of days. I just keep watching it over and over again. So, did it move you? By steeping myself in Legends of the Champions, I'm beginning to form a deeper understanding of them. This will prove invaluable in writing the key verses of the song. I can't Im I can imagine it vividly. The champion's vigilance from 100 years ago. Oh. My teacher always advised that to write good songs, one must travel the world and meet lots of people. That is why I spend my days afoot, talking to anyone who will listen. I was lucky enough to meet with Yunobo and Bludo in Goron City, both of whom know much about the Goron champion, huh? They regaled me with some rather interesting stories. Oh. I'm certain the stories they shared will help greatly in my efforts to accurately write the song's key verses. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Let's take some uh, pictures. So one is like right on the volcano uh, this one's like along a river and this one is kind of by some watery bits Hey, let's get searching. What 
did you play without me? What did you play? No spoilers in chat. No Steven Universe movie spoilers. Hey, it's Luna. Good old Looney Tunes. Let's see. So I think... Let's see, I see some water over here. This could be... That could be this one. So let's go try that first. There's a road, though. Is there a road? Oh, excuse me. Well, we know for a fact one of them is over here, so we might as well head for that one first. Right? One of them is for sure on the volcano proper, by the looks of it. Let's head over there. Karaoke in a while. Oh, I didn't write one recently though. I wrote some new karaoke. It's a parody slash twist on an old classic, and I think I'll be putting out for October this year. Little Vamp as Cardi. What was your favorite song from the Steven Universe movie? Probably the one I sang, or one called Drift Away. Sunny asked, when are we going to see the Brandon the mixtape? 
Uh, you might be waiting a little while for that one. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Sharo Lun. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. So dangerous. So dangerous. So dangerous. Flip mode squad is dangerous. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, there it is. Numero uno. Start the count. Julia K asks, Cardlin, do you play any instruments that go along with your singing? I do not, unfortunately, play any instruments. Let's switch arrows, shall we? First death already? I've been streaming for over 30 minutes. Mind the kill counter, boy. Is we all gonna be so mean about it? Let's see. What do they want me to do on this one? Liz Thatcher says, "If you could turn into one animal, which would it be?" Asking because I just watched your cat's video again. My cat vids. My cat vids. Um. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Nope. That's not it. Kindly, if you would, make eyes now. Thank you. Uh, go for you. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, good. Nice. Number two. How ironic. My inventory is full. Well, then allow me to get rid of this Pokey Poke. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Is that it? Really? We did it? Sweet. Anybody want to give me a voice to make to do for this guy? Luca Penzlin says, I finally made it to a stream. I usually miss them. Sorry about that. Hey, no problem. You don't gotta apologize. I'm glad you're able to make it. Country accent. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of hero. In the name of the goddess Helia, I bestow upon you this gift, Rudania's emblem. You shoot it out of my belly here. There you go. Let's go and take that. It's got a little lizard on it. Thought you might like that. Go ahead and put it in your belly. That's where it goes. Rudania's emblem. Commemorative symbol of the fire trials. Completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. How about that? Two remain. Okay, guess I'm going to die forever now. See you. Here I go. Dead forever. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. All right. That was the first one. Now let's see. The other one might be here. Let's go check it out. that way. How is Cardlin so talented? asked Crystal Rose. He's a man of many talents. Very good at dying in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Very good at being salty at teenagers on his stream. Good at being a grumpy old man. Very good at wishing he still had some of his delicious lunch left over because he's very hungry and hasn't eaten since then. Very good at thinking about what dinner will be. Ooh, what should dinner be? Huh? Roxbox says, say something nice about yourself right now. I have a very nice community of mods and listeners who've all become my friends whose presence and company I enjoy on occasion. <laughs> I enjoy a lot and I'm very thankful for them and if I have to say something nice about myself it's a good thing that I am thankful for them because sometimes People aren't thankful for things. I'm good at being thankful for things. Some things. Also, based on uh, her reaction to it, I am one of the top two, if not number one, kickflip petters in this house. When it comes to what is that? Let's go find out. What am I supposed to do with that? That's gotta be a thing, right? I just throw. Oh, okay. La ha ha! Throw a rock in it. Behold. Nope. It can't be that I just jump into it, right? 
What did the, okay, let's see, what did the adventure log say? Stop a titan of molten stone, two follow rings of light alone, survive lava's fiery fate. Is that, okay, I guess we're gonna, oh, there's the dudes. Probably gonna talk to those dudes. Alright, let's go talk to those dudes. this from high, will it break open? No. Alright, let's see what these three ding-dongs have to say. Pabra, brother! Okay, these guys I now have just determined right now all sound like Macho Man Randy Savage. Or different professional wrestlers. Pump it up, brother! Oh, it's the fourth Goron Blood Brother! The one who beat both the Contest of Endurance and our Gut Check Challenge! Do you know why Champion Daruk chose this place to train, brother? Neither do we, but us Goron Blood Brothers are going to find out by completing the training ourselves. I'm sure this is some part of Lord Daruk's secret Goron Champ training. Intense! We're going to do all we can to be mighty Gorons just like Lord Daruk. It's the only possible path for the Goron Blood Brothers. Huh? Feel the burn, brother! You see that glowing ring in the lava? Think of it as a target and stand on the lava, brother. So sweaty, brother. Even Gorons can't walk on lava. I wonder if Lord Daruk really did just train. Not that I doubt him, brother. No wonder Lord Daruk chose this spot. It's hardcore, brother. This training is gonna be rough. I can almost taste the gains. Time to strategize, brothers. Oh, uh, is it just the... Uh... Alright, well, this obviously isn't it, but let's give it a shot. And I... Oop. That's a three. Can I do the... Can I do the, this thing? No. Ooh, yum yums. What about... This thing? Got some yum yums? Forenza Audio... Just donated five dollars and says Cardlin is the real brother. Thank you for that, brother. Um, nope. Okay, okay. Good. I just need to daisy chain a couple of those, and we'll be fine.
Hmm. Okay, that's four. gonna work? Is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? Is this going to work? Yay! Right? Alright! It worked. Sweet. Luke Penson says, I'm in a better mood. T.Y. cradling. Ah, thank you, Luca. I wonder if I can do something like this. No, I cannot. Where did that... The temple that I wrote... Oh, there it is. I do not know how I'm going to get there. Hmm. Nope. Sierra Dawn asks, Oh my god, how did I get a little bear on the screen? I thought only members and patrons get them. Nope, everyone gets a little bear. Everyone who types in the chat. But if you want to customize yours, you gotta be a member. Which reminds me, we haven't done a duber party. We haven't had a dube job party in a while. We should do one of those. Where did that shrine show up at? Oh, it's up here. A duber party, for those of you who are curious, is when I do a secret stream just for the YouTube and Green team, and uh, I turn on the controls that let them customize their dubers, so they can choose what color, what headgear. I haven't done one of those in a while. We should do one of those. Rina uh, Rinu Honika. I'm gonna need a voice for this shrine. Can I just... Nope. <laughs> that answers that question. I was like, oh, where are my fireproof stuff? Surely this will be fine. Italian. Hmm. I don't know, I never heard about Nomea. Let's see. Now what? Now... Okay. Do 
this. Twenty five pesos from Mikachi saying this will be fine, he says as he walks through the fire. Yeah, perfectly fine. <laughs> what new weapon can I not hold? a good weapon to have, so let's see what we can give up in place hey, of it. thanks. Do we really need a torch? This one can go. I heard it. Hey, thanks. That was for the 125 pesos from Mikachi. Thank you very much. Yep. Cardlin, do you know Spanish? No, just a tiny, tiny bit from both being Californian and knowing a decent amount of Filipino, because a lot of Filipino is Spanish. Can I take these with me? I feel like I should. Come along. So that won't work, so maybe... I'm like rotating the controller in my hand to do this, and it's like the most awkward of controls. Will that work? No, that won't work. What about one of these? Oh, I feel like uh, I almost had it. Get, get it, get it. Okay, now how do I press the B button while you are... All lopsided like that. There we go. All right. So was it a uh, Italian? to Godfather movies. <laughs> I don't know if that... Uh, okay, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, we'll give it a shot. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Ilia, I bestow upon you this gift, Rudania's Emblem. Rudania's emblem, the commemorative symbol of a fire trial's completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. One remains. I die now. Bye bye. Thank you so much for playing my game.
All right, just one left. Uh, we have time? We got time. So we got... Wait, which one was, was this one? I think this one was this one? Yeah, because it was in the lake. And there's the big rock. Yeah. So that means we need to find this one. Um... Because we did that one. So we gotta find this one. But what are the... Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks. Keiko Utaraichi says, Bellissimo. With $2 super chat. Thank you very much. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Mi bella Keiko. Sorry. 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 That's... Probably horrendously offensive. I'm sorry. Let's see. There's a crab. Oh, the crab! I know where the crab is. I've been to the crab. All right, fire crab. There's a crab somewhere in these waters. Just gotta remember where. Oh, I remember seeing the crab. But maybe it was down here. It could be down there. Remember the crab? I've been to the crab. I think the crab. There it is. You crabby goober, you. Hey, Luxana with a one euro super chat. Thank you very much. Keeping it multicultural. Angel Music says you currently have to do a Mr. Krabs voice for this one. Mm. Hey. Did y'all know hey, thanks. that the voice of voice of, um, oh yeah, I think this is backwards. The voice of the human detective in, how do I rotate it? Rotation, there you go. The voice of the human detective in Detroit becoming human was Mr. Krabs. I can't tell. I think if I remember this correctly, I do this. Sorry about that little vamp. Buona sera. Take a look at that picture, shall we? So the crab is there and it's around the bend. So looking at the map, it's gonna be over chair. turn around. I wonder if that's a thing I can do. That man 
is the voice of Mr. Krabs. I forget the name. The name coming to mind is Cedric Yarborough. I'm not sure if that's him. Just use time stop and hit it with a hammer to go the other way. Ah, Sierra Dawn, you're so smart. Should have done that. Clancy Brown. There you go. That's his name. Who's Cedric Yarborough? So it looks like it's the top of that, maybe? Top of this little mountain here. Yeah. I'm thinking... Or maybe like just like right here. Cedric Yarborough plays in the Boondocks. Cedric Yarborough, I think, is another voice actor. So this one, I think I gotta beat up a golem. Which I think is that pile of rocks right there. It's gonna come to life when I get over there. What better way to beat up a golem than with my brand new fancy dancy stone smasher? And let's get. Equip a bow, bomb arrows, and let's equip a metal shield. Arrows. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Da, 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 da. Any chance you're coming out of that lake there, buddy? Is hitting me. Oh, right. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Can't use bomb arrows here because they'll instantly explode. I need to get on that thing so I can smash it. Oh, stop using the bomb arrows, ding dong! Jeez, again. 
here, shall we? Okay, okay, and we're dead. Very good. Do, 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 do. Okay, we are out of fly away. So we need to figure something else out. Do, 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 do. There's an updraft, right? Yes, there is. Sweet. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what is that? Six? Seven? How many deaths we got? See if we can finish this here temple without dying. See if we can keep it under 10. Otherwise, we just gotta go straight all the way for 20. Um, where did that temple appear? Oh, how convenient. What voice we got for this temple, you think? Any requests for voices in this here temple? What is that giant? Oh, is that a dragon? Rivali's Gale is now ready. Yes, it is. Hello. Scottish. I always get Scottish and Irish mixed up, and that usually offends Scottish and Irish people. Oh, my bad, I missed this earlier, but Hidaya donated, asking, is Kickflip still there? Uh, Kickflip is not here anymore. Or maybe she's just chilling somewhere quietly. Do, 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 do. Well, these are usually fun. Fire! 
<laughs> cool. This is... I like this one. Hmm. I wonder if I can... How do I get that chest? Hold on, let me see if I can get this chest first. Come here if you will. Yep. What new weapon can I not? Oh, a diamond. Is the accent predominant in brave Scottish? Or what about, what about, uh, Hiccup's stoic, Hiccup's dad's voice in How to Train Your Dragon? Is that, is that, uh, is that the thing? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh Jesus, oh God, okay. Brave is Scottish. What about the Stoic's voice in uh, How to Train Your Dragon? Is that Scottish? What is the rotation based off of? Okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good. Okay, so how about focus on, there you go, that first. Then turn it towards me. No. Um, I really don't Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, good. Now we just just, just need it. We just need it. We just Okay. That but over face over here. Sure. That works. I'm not a fan of this. Whatever this is. Like that. And then like that. Yep, that'll have to do. Fire! 
<laughs> okay. Okay, so here we are with the future, and it's wrong. This. Oh. Motion controls. There's got to be a way to turn that off, right? Oh, that's it? That's the only one? Dang it. Okay, well. Um... this a lot. Let's try that. Please. Alright, well I feel like that's not not entirely incorrect. Hey, all right. Oof, I hated that a lot. All right, let's never do that again. Scottish. All right, here goes. Not very good at voices, but here goes my best attempt at Scottish. Oh, your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. <laughs> in the name of the goddess Ilia, I bestow upon you this gift, Rudania's emblem. <laughs> Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, every dwarf I've heard in WoW. Rudanian's emblem. The commemorative symbol of a fire trial's completion by one who... Oh, jeez, that's really bad. By one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. <laughs> I'm sorry, whoever record requested this. Now that you have collected three emblems, you must go to Divine Beast Varudanya. Goodbye now. I am dead forever. That was... That was... Not good. Okie dokie. Now we go to Varudanya. And we gotta go fight a thing, probably. Hey, we got 20 Mexican dollars from Haruka Hoshino saying, You tried. Thank you for that. I certainly did. Hey, thanks. Was I incredibly offensive in my attempt? Undoubtedly. But was there an attempt nonetheless? Yes, it was. Reconnecting. We good? supposed to go. 
Normally when I just get close, it pulls me into a memory or something. There you go. Hey, to the one who approaches this divine beast here, in the name of Goddess Helia, I offer you a trial. In exchange for Rudania's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within whatever. Hey, we got ourselves 50 pesos from Mikachi saying, How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. I tried to do Scottish. It was really bad. But at least it's not in immortalized forever online. Jesus. Alright, let's fight this here. Ding dong, because why not? This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memory. shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. We must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. What's this guy? Some kind of chopper man? Chop, chop, fireman? Fire Blight Ganon. I Ganon. Ooh. Oh, got no shield. How? How do I target on him? Uh, do I have any food? So help me now. Oh, now he's double fire, man. With his double fire shield. Oh no. Fine, I'm out of arrows. There you go, stop that. I got no arrows. Uh, counting on you, girl. 
Yeah. One more, Arbosa. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Please, please don't. <laughs> CJ says, hey Carthen, you can do it, I believe in you. I thank you for that, CJ. Thank you for the $2 super chat. Did we keep it under 9 deaths? Uh, under 10 deaths? Are we, are we, did we stop at 9? Good. Eight deaths. Okay. Not bad. You had a whole one death to spare. It's ya boy. Mm. Well, well. Though our aims are different, our feet took us to the same destination. I speak figuratively, of course. I travel by wing rather than by put. By put. Ah, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about champion Daruk has truly invigorated me. Mm. Invigorated me. <laughs> That's how they'd say it. In fact, it has inspired me to honor him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here, near the divine beast Vaharudanya, which Daruk himself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of champion Daruk. Recall Rudania's champion of flame Before his fated moment Finally came This is the tale Of Great Dalbuk's task And the princess Who came to ask Well, here we go This is what it's all about These cutscenes Yeah I'm the fearless Daruk, after all. And if Hyrule needs my help, I'll gladly lay down my life. Thank you, Daruk. <laughs> Not sure what if nice you guy, guy Ganon's fault or what, but I hear monsters have been attacking people more than ever lately. Times like these, you shouldn't leave the castle without a horde of mighty Gorons to watch your back. You sound like Father. He's assigning a knight to watch over me wherever I go. I hear the top contender is the most accomplished swordsman in all of Hyrule. Ooh. Huh? That could only be... Huh? What the... They really are all over the place these days. Huh? Is someone being attacked? Cowards! Wait here, princess. Yeah, look at this guy. Oh, this guy's the best. stands a chance when fighting me the almighty Daruk <laughs> oh. Do -do -do -do. you're safe <gasps> it's a doggies <laughs> oh they're gonna attack the doggies it seems our oh my god one being attacked Precious boy, you saved his life. Huh? I'm so glad you saved the doggies. What? What's the matter with you? You don't like a doggies? Mark. <laughs> he don't like no dogs. Mark, Mark. And stay safe. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. As a kid, dogs always chased me. Aww. I still panic when I see one of those critters. Aww, oh, childhood trauma, that's no good. Daruk would have a weakness. <laughs> so tell me, princess. Yes? Aww. 
Calamity Ganon isn't uh, some kind of a dog monster, is he? <laughs> How dare you laugh? He's the mighty Daruk. How dare you laugh at him? <laughs> that was cool. Mm, I suppose even champions are not immune to fear. So, what do you think of Champion Daruk's song? By writing a song that celebrates the softer side of Champion Daruk, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. The end result is not quite clear yet, but I am beginning to feel a stirring of inspiration about those verses. I knew you could do it, little guy. Oh. Now you can use Daruk's protection more than ever. If you see that Ganon jerk, give him a message for me. Good riddance, bacon breath. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Nice. All right, just one left to go, and it's over here in Zora's domain. Let's, uh, Let's get ourselves to a place. Okay, so we have to get there. And the closest stables is... Oh, jeez. I don't think we can take a horse up there at all. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it's impossible to take a horse along this path. We can at least get ourselves closer to where we need to be before we close the stream. Kirsty Garland is asking, hi Kirsty, asking if the horses are surviving this time. You know, uh, Brandon is yet to die. As a matter of fact, he's doing better than ever. He's got fancy new head armor, fancy new back armor. He's got, he's got, he's got quite the glow up. Hopefully, it's enough to protect him from you know multiple explosive laser shots. Alright, so we need to go over there. Do 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 do. Oh, over there. Yeah. And that's exactly what we'll do next time on the adventures of Cardlin trying to play Breath of the Wild correctly. Until then, on behalf of me and my giant elephant friend here, I want to thank y'all for coming out for this stream. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you for all the generosity, all the super chats, all the good stuff, all the love. I'll be seeing some of y'all on the Patreon live stream tomorrow, hopefully. We've got a brand new audio for those of you who are 18 or over and on the Patreon. will be coming out tomorrow as well. And, uh, yeah. September is going to be a really fun month. I've announced that already, though I haven't given the full details just yet, but I am doing a live stream on the channel's anniversary on the 14th. It's going to be a really big one, and I really hope you all can make it then. Keiko Taraichi, thank you for the $2 super chat. Saying super fun stream, friend. Oh, hey, thank thanks. you for that. I'll be catching some of y'all on Discord later, hopefully. And until then... Y'all have a good rest of your evening. Have a good weekend, in case I can't catch you. And uh, know that I'm really, truly grateful that you were able to come out here. And catch you around, okay? Cheers. Oh my god, how dare I leave? There are two more Super Chats. Oh lord, thank you so much! Oh lord, thank you so much! Hey, thanks. We got 250 pesos from Mikachi saying, Card Link, thanks for the fun Breath of the Wild stream. 
Enjoy the singing and the accents. Hope you have a great rest of your evening and a good start to the weekend. See you in the next one. And then we've got Haraya, who sent $10 and says, Brother, thank you for your time. Fun stream as always. Well, thank you for that, Haraya. Y'all have a good one. I'll catch you on the Discord later, yeah? Thank you very much, you two, for those lovely super chats. And thank you, everyone else, for coming out. Catch y'all on the flippity-flop. Cheers.